drafted tier the whole way, but there and the tier tier shifts again. Energy to catch and not going to happen. Oregon wins it and just missing again the collegiate record. This is Cooper Tier from the University of Oregon, one of the greatest collegiate distance runners over the past decade. On March 12th of 2021, Tier, along with his University of Oregon teammates, placed first in the distance medley relay, winning with an incredible time of 9 minutes 19.98 seconds. This time was achieved with fantastic splits from Reed Brown, Xavier Nyernay, Charlie Hunter, and again Cooper Tier. However, just one month before this performance, at the 2021 Razorback Invitational, this Oregon team ran even faster, breaking the NCAA record and the outright world record with a time of 9 minutes 19.42 seconds. This performance was also accomplished with some pretty crazy splits, this time from Cole Hawker and Luis Peralta and also Cooper Tier and Charlie Hunter. Looking back at it, this Oregon team was unquestionably one of the best distance programs to ever come out of the collegiate ranks. With Cole Hawker winning the Olympic trials that season, he also won multiple NCAA titles. Cooper Tier came away with the NCAA title in the 5000. And also, we saw Charlie Hunter win the indoor title in the 800, closing like an absolute train. It's clear when you look back at it that this team really showcased a full top-tier lineup of distance running excellence, and it only made sense that this distance medley relay turned up a new world record. And even though this time has stood pretty strong since this Oregon team's dominance in 2021, we just saw this world record get absolutely crushed. But before we get into this new world record, we're having a big sale on all merchandise on TotalRunningProductions.com. These items are flying off the shelf, so make sure to head over right now and grab a few pieces while you still can. Also, we just added our limited time turquoise mountain runner hoodie with the classic TRP logo up front, and it's also a very comfortable fit for all of you athletes. Head on over to TotalRunningProductions.com and use the code TRP23 for 10% off your purchase. On February 17th, at this year's Arkansas Qualifier in Fayetteville, Arkansas, we saw one of the deepest fields ever assembled for this year's distance medley relay. Now, in this field, we had Washington, we had Arkansas, Virginia, Alabama, and also Oklahoma State. And on paper, Washington simply had to be the favorite coming into this distance medley relay, because, as you might remember, they had eight athletes run under four minutes for the mile in the same race earlier this season. Bruh. So the depth of this team is out of control. And as this race unfolded, it was obvious that the record was on the line. For the opening 1200 meters, which is three laps of your standard track and six laps of the indoor circuit, we immediately saw an early separation from both Oklahoma State and Washington. For this first leg, Washington was led by Joe Wascom, a previous NCAA champion and a 3 minute and 51 second miler, and for Oklahoma State, they were led by Fawad Masodia, a 3.54 miler and another very talented distance running athlete. Now, to challenge the current world record from Oregon in 2021, the opening 1,200 meters would need to be reached in around 2 minutes and 49 seconds, which is just under 57 seconds for every 400 meters. And for this opening 1,200, both Washington and Oklahoma State reached this very quick threshold, running times of 249.41 and 249.49. After this very fast opening 1200 meters, the baton went on to the 400 meter athletes, and for Dehuana MacArthur and Daniel Gaik from Washington, they again hit very solid tempos, running times of 46.82 and 46.37. At this point in the race, after two opening legs, Washington had a slight lead over OK State, but for the final two splits, which included the 800 and the one mile run, it would be a battle all the way to the finish line. Now for this 800 meter leg, both Hafez Mahadi and Cass Elliott looked super smooth throughout this entire leg, and they also ran very impressive times of 147.17 and 147.42. But then it was time for the most important and the longest leg of this race, the one mile run. Now for this final leg, it was a battle between Kieran Lum and Ryan Shape from Oklahoma State. And at this point in the race, with just one mile left, both Washington and OK State Split times right around 5 minutes and 23 seconds. So if they were looking to break the previous record of 919 from the University of Oregon, they would need to run a final mile in around 3 minutes and 56 seconds. Now, a 356 mile is very fast. In fact, it's so fast that it would already be placed in the top 15 for the NCAA this season. 
But as you have probably already figured out, both athletes ran well under this time. For the final mile, Ryan Shoppe and Kieran Lum opened their first 400 in around 57 seconds, a very impressive tempo, and actually at this point, both Arkansas and Virginia had made contact with the front runners, so they likely ran times of around 56 for this opening 400. This opening quarter of 57 seconds was definitely fast, but for the final 1200, these athletes only continued a remarkable tempo. For the next 400, Shoppe from OK State made a move just before the 800 split, and for this 400, both athletes ran times around 58.5. This pace put them right around 3 minutes and 50 seconds for the final mile, and they only needed a final 800 of around 2 minutes and 1 seconds to break the previous record at this point in the race. Now, this final 800 pace of 201 would be met quite easily, as the third 400 of this mile was achieved in around 59 seconds, and for the final 400, well, that was a true showcasing of strength, and ultimately, Ryan Shoppe pulled out the victory with a final 400 in around 58 seconds, leading to this new world record of 9 minutes, 16.40 seconds, an incredible performance from Oklahoma State. Now, a huge shout-out goes to Washington, who also went well under the previous World Best of Oregon. However, on the day, Oklahoma State was just too strong, and with split times of 249.49, 46.82, 147.27, and a final mile of 3 minutes, 52.84 seconds, they just showcased incredible depth for this distance medley relay, and this world record is honestly one of the most underrated moments so far in 2023. This was certainly a huge performance for Oklahoma State, and I think it's safe to say that we will likely see multiple distance athletes competing for an NCAA title this season. But the weird thing about this performance was that their head coach, Dave Smith, actually wasn't even there to witness this new world record. Now, the reason he wasn't there was because he was coaching the junior division of the United States in this year's World Cross Country Championships, an honor bestowed to only the very best coaches in the nation. And when inquired about his involvement for this competition, he said that he was actually trying to find a live stream of the race while in Australia at 7 a.m. local time. But like many of us, and this is quite relatable, he was only able to see the live results. So even though he is the head coach, he wasn't even able to find a live stream of this new world record. I'm sure that many of us can relate to this exact feeling, trying to find a viewing of one of your biggest and most anticipated races of the year, but either because of an unnecessary paywall or just some kind of technicality, a live viewing of a race was just out of the question. This was quite a moment for Oklahoma State, and it's but a further showcasing of the true talent emerging in distance running right now. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.